Could the future of football actually be in the hands of the parents? I'm Dylan Hensley with East Texas Explorer. People of all ages are flocking to CrossFit boxes, looking for variety, fast results, and a quicker workout. On Friday, November 20th, and Saturday, November 21st, Westminster Presbyterian Church in Nacogdoches hosted the seventh annual International Market in 10,000 Villages Retail Market. CrossFit is the newest trend in the exercise and fitness world. It combines aerobic conditioning, Olympic weightlifting, and gymnastics along with other old school exercises like kettlebells, rope climbs, tire flipping, and sledgehammer into daily workouts. People of all ages are flocking to CrossFit boxes, looking for variety, fast results, and a quicker workout. Not only are you looking at your um, just muscular strength and endurance, but we're also tying in cardiovascular endurance, um, plyometrics, calisthenics, everything is kind of bottled into one training system. CrossFit workouts are extremely strenuous, focusing on a full body regimen. A CrossFit daily workout is referred to as a WOD, or workout of the day, and can take as little as 20 minutes to do, making it possible to accomplish during your lunch break. These type of workouts have the reputation of kind of beating you down, recovering from those workouts, and kind of repeating the workouts periodically that you get mentally stronger going through those workouts. Um, so whenever you hit you, your normal kind of wall in, a, in, in said workout, um, next time you do that workout, you're kind of expecting it. You'll exceed that expectation. Although CrossFit participates in competitive tournaments, it's much more about working at your own pace and developing not only strength, but movement and flexibility in a supportive environment that promotes positive attitude towards health and nutrition. You, you create these friendships in kind of these, these rough environments and situations with these workouts because they can be pretty tough sometimes. That forges a bond. Um, you're kind of going through a struggle together and it builds a relationship a whole lot. If I were to go to a different town and just drop into another CrossFit gym, they would embrace me. It looks like CrossFit may be here to stay, and with the holidays approaching, this may be the best time to join. I'm Dylan Hensley with East Texas Explorer. The Caddo lived in parts of Texas, Arkansas, Louisiana, and Oklahoma. They flourished in the Nacogdoches settlement until the 1840s when they relocated to the upper Brazos River. The Caddo were here in the Nacogdoches area as early as 750 to 800 CE. Caddo mounds on State Highway 21 are the only preserved and protected site of the Caddo in Texas. There are three mounds, two ceremonial mounds and one burial mound. The first excavations of the site did not take place until uh, 1939 or 1940. The ceremonial mound and the burial mound were not excavated until the summers of 1968, 69, and 70, and that was done by Dr. D.N. Story uh, and students from the University of Texas. The Texas Parks and Wildlife Department established a historic park in 1974, and another 23 acres were added to the park in 1983, along with an interpretive visitor center. Our visitation was probably right at about 3,000 500, 3,900, if, if memory serves me right. Uh, and last year, our um, visitation pretty much doubled. We were running in the 8,000 8, numbers. The Caddo introduced agriculture, a stable political system, and rich religious and traditional ceremonies to Texas, which are still practiced today. Uh, Caddo Culture Day is an annual event uh, that has occurred here for approximately the last nine to 10 years we will have it on the second Saturday in April. And the cat will come down in traditional dress, they'll dance and drum. We also bring in some of the traditional Caddo artisans and they'll show the crafts that they make. Despite the harsh feelings between the Caddo and the settlers, Texas takes its name from the Caddo word Taysha, meaning friend. I'm Dylan Hensley with East Texas Explorer.